Let's be real for a second, guys. How many times have you wondered, what exactly is squirting? Is it pee? Is it some kind of special fluid? And more importantly, how does a woman actually feel when it happens? You see, squirting is one of the most mysterious and misunderstood topics in sexual health. Some people think it's the ultimate sign of pleasure. Others think it's messy. And many men are secretly asking themselves, is my partner missing out if it never happens? Well, today I'm going to clear this up once and for all. Before we dive in, do me a quick favor. Tell me in the comments where you're watching from. I love seeing the community we've built from all around the world. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss the health truths that no one else talks about. Here's the first myth we need to bust. Squirting does not automatically equal better sex. Yes, you heard me right. Despite what movies, media, and especially adult films suggest, Squirting is not some magical confirmation that your partner has reached the peak of sexual bliss. Biologically, squirting is simply the release of fluid from the urethra during sexual arousal or orgasm. Sometimes it's just a few drops. Sometimes it's a gush. Sometimes it's clear. Sometimes it's mixed with a bit of dilute urine. But emotionally, women describe the experience in very different ways. For some, it feels powerful and exciting. For others, it feels messy, inconvenient, or even embarrassing. So the truth is this, whether or not squirting happens has very little to do with how good sex feels. And that's a big relief, isn't it? Because it means pleasure is about connection, not a fluid measurement. For those who are new here, I'm Dr. Melinda, a urologist with over 10 years of experience helping men and women understand their bodies and improve their intimate health. In my clinic, I see countless men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s who are confused or worried about topics like this. They ask me questions like, if my partner doesn't squirt, does that mean I'm not satisfying her? If she does squirt, does that mean she enjoys it more than an orgasm? Or sometimes, why does it feel like my partner squirts one time, but not the next? And the truth is, the answers aren't black and white. But what we do have are real studies, real anatomy, and real women's voices to guide us. So let's break it down. Transition. A group of researchers in Sweden actually interviewed women who self-identified as squirters. And what they found were three main themes. And these themes completely bust the idea that squirting is always the same or always amazing. Let's count them down. Theme number one, amazement, pride, and a sense of sexual superpower. Many women described squirting as something that made them feel special, almost like unlocking a new level of intimacy. Biologically, this makes sense. The skein's glands, which are like the female version of the prostate, fill with fluid during arousal. And when the pelvic floor muscles contract, that fluid is pushed out. For some women, discovering this feels like a revelation. Emotionally, they often describe it as a sexual awakening. A few even said it gave them a sense of pride, like they had a rare ability. Practically, some women even went to workshops or read books to learn how to do it on purpose with partners who encouraged and celebrated the experience. So yes, for some women, squirting is a badge of honor, a confidence booster, and a source of joy. Theme number two, indifference or even disconnection. Now here's where it gets interesting. Not every woman sees squirting as special. Some said it just happened. They didn't notice it until the sheets were wet Others said it didn't give them any extra orgasmic feeling. In fact, some felt it distracted from the real climax. Biologically, this makes sense too, because the release of fluid doesn't necessarily trigger the brain's orgasmic pathways. It's more mechanical than neurological. Emotionally, this can be confusing for men. You might think, wow, that was incredible, while your partner is thinking, eh, it's no big deal. Practically, this is why communication matters. If you assume squirting always equals maximum pleasure, you might miss what your partner truly enjoys. Theme number three, discomfort or shame. Finally, and this is something most men don't realize, some women feel embarrassed when they squirt. They worry it's messy. They worry it looks like urine. Some even thought they peed themselves the first time it happened. Biologically, remember, some of the fluid can mix with urine so that concern isn't completely off base. Emotionally, this can cause shame. A woman might pull back, hide, or avoid certain activities out of fear of judgment. Practically, that means if you're with a partner who squirts, your reaction matters a lot. If you make her feel safe, supported, and unashamed, she may embrace it. If you make her feel judged, it could create distance instead of closeness. 
So what does all this mean for you as a man who wants to be a caring, confident partner? Here's the action plan. Don't chase squirting like it's the ultimate goal. Focus on connection, communication, and your partner's unique desires. Create a safe space. If squirting happens, react with acceptance, not shock or shame. Stay curious, ask your partner how it feels for her, and listen without assuming. Remember biology. It's normal whether it happens rarely, often, or never. The bottom line, pleasure is about intimacy, not fluid volume. I want to reassure you, gentlemen, if your partner doesn't squirt, it doesn't mean she's missing out. If she does squirt, it doesn't guarantee she's having the best sex of her life. Sexual satisfaction is deeply personal. It's about trust, presence, and connection. And here's the truth. Women care far more about how attentive, confident, and connected their partner is than about whether fluid comes out during orgasm. So here's the takeaway, men. Stop comparing sex to what you've seen online. Every woman's body is different, and every couple's intimacy is unique. If this video gave you clarity, please hit like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who might need to hear this. And don't forget to comment below. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm Dr. Melinda, reminding you, age is not the end of vitality. With empathy, understanding, and small changes, you can create a sex life filled with confidence, freedom, and deep connection. Take care of yourself because you are worth it. And I'll see you in the next video.